will be talking about some of the public buildings, some of the structures which have been found in the Harappan cities and has been identified as public buildings. We know that the Harappan cities used to be divided into two parts, the upper city or the citadel area and the lower city. The citadel area was normally used for administrative and religious purpose. It used to be the religious, religious center of the city. In the citadel area, such buildings have been found in many of the Harappan sites which has been identified as public buildings. This has been true for many important Harappan sites. It appears that these buildings were used for some special purpose. Among the public buildings which are common in most of the Harappan cities is the granaries. It appears that as the Harappan civilization was a city civilization, an urban civilization, granaries, large granaries used to be built in the Harappan cities to store food to meet the requirements of the people in the cities. Besides the greeneries, there were many such structures basically which were located in the citadel area which used to be situated on an uplifted on an elevated part of the city. And it appears that this was done to protect these important buildings from floods. As I told you, one of the important uh, public building, which is common in most of the Harappan sites, is the granaries. Besides the granary in Mahanjadaro, a big bath has been found, which is called the Great Bath. A large granary has also been found over there. Besides, a very big hall has been found uh, in the citadel area of Mahinjadaro. We will be discussing about that. First of all, if we talk about Mahinjadaro, the Great Bath was the most important building of the city. It was actually a tank which was situated in the citadel area. It measured 12 meter by 7 meter and was about 3 meter deep. It had a flight of steps going to the, to the bottom of the tank. The floor of the bath was made of burned bricks. There were rooms on the sides of the great bath. It might be these rooms were used as changing rooms. There was also a large well which was used for supplying water to the tank. The water for, from the tank was systematically drained out also through a drain connecting the tank. There were uh, bathrooms also constructed on the side of the tank that is the great bath. So, uh, if we analyze the construction of this tank in the citadel area, which we call the Great Bath, it was probably used for ritual bathings, which uh, is still an inseparable part of the religious life of the Indians. Besides the Great Bath, I told you all that a greenery was a very important public building that used to exist in most of the Harappan cities. In Mahanjadaro also a large granary has been found. Besides, uh, a big assembly hall has also been found in the citadel area of Mahanjadaro. 
This type of granary has found uh, has been found in Harappa also. These were built on an elevated platform in the citadel area and normally uh, it was done so to protect it from floods. In Harappa, uh, a brick platform has been found uh, which have two rows of six granaries. So these are some of the important public buildings which have been found in different sites of uh, the Harappan culture. Besides, I was talking about a large hall that has been found in uh, Mahanjadaro and some other cities also. In Mahanjadaro, a big assembly hall has been found which measures about 230 feet by 78 feet. It is actually an open courtyard which measures 33 square feet. And uh, it has been identified as an assembly hall, which have four rows of five brick platforms upon which wooden columns were erected. So these were some of the important structures that has been identified, that has been excavated uh, from some of the more important Harappan sites. And uh, these have been identified as public structures or buildings of the Harappan cities.